What's up everybody, Drake here from Drake's Rob Shop. Today we got a package from Summit. Let's open this up and see what we got inside of it. We got a catalog. Nice, we got some stickers that I can put on the truck. We got a freaking awesome shirt. Let's put that on real quick. Who needs that one anymore, right? Now that we got a freaking Summit shirt. Oh, and it's a medium perfect, it's my size, so I'll take a look at this. Y'all see that? Summit, 55 years since, 1968. Heck yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's rip this sticker off right here. Put this on. Let's see what else we got. Now I know we got the master cylinder up in here for the red 66 Chevy. That's why uh, that's behind us. So we got some brake fluid. Some more brake fluid. And this box right here should be our master cylinder. So let's get this thing open right now. They really packed the shoes pretty tight up in here. All right, so we got the master cylinder. Let me get this out right here. We're gonna check and see, make sure it's the right one. And if it is, then I will paint this thing up and get it ready for the truck. All right, so the first step is you gotta get a half inch wrench and a 9 16th wrench and start taking off your master cylinder. You take that bolt loose, and you take that bolt loose. Half inch on the front? You half inch on the front. Nine sixteenths on the back. Nine sixteenths on the back. Pull it out, and you gotta take the, this off, disconnect it all, and pull it off. We're gonna do that right now. So we had to take this piece out of the master cylinder. This was in here. And uh, with my truck, it would not fit because I have this longer rod on my brake booster. So we had to beat the heck out of it and try to get this little piece out so it would fit. Now if you get this master cylinder from Summit Racing, it's gonna have that little piece in the back of there. And if you have the longer rod like I do, you're gonna have to take it out. You just remove that snap ring in the back of it, and then you just tap the thing that comes out until that pops out. And once that's out, then you can put your master cylinder on your brake booster. So you put it on the same way you took the other one off, just slide it on and put the bolts back on. We got it painted up and we're tightening it up. Pouring some brake fluid in right now. We're gonna pump up the brakes. All right, so we got the master cylinder on there and hooked up, the brakes are bled. Now we're just looking for a hose to run from the booster so we can get air. All right, so my dad's under there putting the torque converter bolts in right now. 
All right, so it's nighttime, but I'm inside the cab of the truck here. As you can see, the brake pedal, we adjusted it because when you pushed it in, it didn't spring back up, but we adjusted it. Now you push it in and it springs back up. The brakes are working. So we have the master cylinder hooked up. The torque converter bolts are in the truck. And we hooked up an air hose to the booster. And we hooked up the map sensor today as well but that's pretty much what we did today uh, if you enjoyed the video drop the video a like hopefully you enjoyed it if you found the video helpful hope you found it helpful hopefully you found something in the video helpful or enjoyed it uh, but with that said i'm gonna end the video here if you're new hit that subscribe button for more truck videos and i'll see y'all in the next video take care have a great day peace out